Oh, it is so dark out. Oh, shoot. I don't know how to make this brighter. <laughs> Hey everybody, Sarah Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're an oldie but goodie, you'll be used to me doing some massive hauls on this channel. But this go around, I have a much more reasonable, quite small by comparison, <laughs> haul for you. It's been a hot minute since I've bought anything at Tour. I think the last time I bought from them was my last Tour at haul almost a year ago which I will leave a link up in the corner for you to go watch that if you're interested. Torrid was recently running a sale with their Torrid cash. I had over $100 of Torrid cash apparently to spend. They run Torrid cash a couple times a year, but there's been a couple times now where I just have not been interested in anything on their website. I'm over skull printed everything. Anyway. When I was on there recently, there was one item that I needed to replace, another item that I wanted to add to my wardrobe, and a couple other little things. So I ended up making a purchase and using all of my Torrid cash, and I figured I would get on here and show you, particularly if maybe you're on the lookout for something similar. I will also leave links down in the description for you for anything that I can still link to. The majority of this haul is actually stuff I am currently wearing, so that'll make this a little bit easy. But yeah, let's jump right in. I'm going to start with an accessory, actually, which are these paperclip earrings. Those have been popular for a while. And I saw that Torrid had their own version. I actually have um, a little bit of like fake rhinestones in them, which I thought made them a little bit different. They are not the easiest to get on and off. The part that you actually clip in is quite flimsy and you have to manipulate it to get it to fit in your ear. It seems like it would be very easily breakable. Once it's in there, it feels pretty secure, but something to be aware of. But I thought they were reasonably priced. I've actually been debating getting the paper clip earrings from Ana Luisa because I, I love Ana Luisa as a brand, but these were significantly cheaper. So I figured I'd give them a go. Next are the leggings that I'm actually wearing right now. They are these brown full length leggings in a 1X. And toward sizing, I tend to be a, one, a true 1X on the bottom and more of a 0X on the top. I have a couple gripes with Torrid that I have made mention of in my last Torrid haul, but their leggings to me have always been top notch. I have yet to find another brand that tops Torrid leggings. If you know of a brand that is plus size friendly that you think is comparable with Torrid or even better, leave a comment for me down below because I would be curious to test them out and compare. Maybe even do a comparison on this channel if anybody's interested. These feel very nice, very luxurious. I don't have a brown pair. So I have been debating between the brown pair from Torrid or a navy pair. Eventually I will get my hands on a pair of navy leggings, but for now, I went with the brown. I'm trying to make sure that I have a good variety of neutral colors when it comes to leggings for my wardrobe because day to day, I live in leggings. If I had the option to go with jeans or with trousers or with leggings, I'm always gonna opt for leggings. I'm just that kind of girl. But if I'm gonna be comfortable, there are ways to make leggings more fancy. So they don't seem to be see-through, which is of course very important. They feel like very good quality. Like I said, can't go wrong with Torrid leggings. Next up is something else that I'm wearing. And no, it is not this. I showed this in my Black Friday haul, which you can go and check out if you'd like to, to see where this beautiful sweater is from. It's actually the bra I'm wearing. If you're new around here, um, this is my insulin pump. I am a type one diabetic, as I always tend to just um, stick my insulin pump in my bra. This is the Torrid Wireless Bra. I first hauled this again in my last Torrid haul and I raved about it. I found that this was a game changer. I got this in the beige color. So for a while now, I've been wanting to get my hands on particularly 
this in the white version. I think they did come out with it and they've just been out of it for some time. So I decided to get the black version of this. As I mentioned before, it has no wiring, but it still, as you can see here, gives you really, really good lift, which is why I love it. I love this as my everyday bra now. I got my usual size, more snug or you want it to be looser. It does have several clipping options in the back for you. It's also got adjustable straps. I cannot rave enough about this bra. Once I have it in white, <laughs> I will probably just live in the, this type of bra and nothing else. Next up is a bra that I've actually been wanting to replace. I've had this bra in my closet probably going on uh, almost three years now and it's seen better days. It is completely worn out. The t-shirt plunge bra. I, I just find the t-shirt bra option the most comfortable. I got this again in my usual size. The t-shirt plunge bra option usually has one of these little tiny bows. It also usually tends to have this like little peep through hole. That's what she said. <laughs> it's got several different clip sizes and options for you in the back here. And again, adjustable straps. This type of bra does come in many different colors. I think it actually comes in a couple different patterns now as well. So as far as wired bra options, I definitely recommend and prefer the t-shirt bra. For any time that I feel like I need a little more support, I always go for one of these. Lastly is probably the only item from this haul that I didn't necessarily need to add to my collection. This was an item that I've been toying with buying for a couple of months now, and I just decided, gotta get it because plaid. If you're not new around here, <laughs> you know I love plaid. Plaid is like my favorite pattern to wear. And this time I got it in a beautiful purple, green, and black option. This looks like really retro to me and kind of alternative as well, depending on how you want to jazz it up. These are considered pixie pants, but they have that like stretchy sort of legging feel to them. They also have what they, what Tord calls slim fix technology. So it's supposed to like smooth out your belly. It has this really thick band around the waist area. Faux pockets in the back. Hopefully you can see those real actual pockets in the front, which is very exciting. I got these in a 1X and they're definitely, like the rest of their leggings, very true to size. But yeah, they definitely, they're called pixie pants, but it could very well be leggings, which I'm all about. Yeah, I just think these are beautiful and I have so much in my wardrobe that will easily go with these pants. So I'm excited to start rocking these. So that was my little torrid cash sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know if you bought anything from the recent sale. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate it. That support really helps me and encourages me to keep pumping out content. Be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already. I do a lot of fashion and plus size related content on my channel. And if you already are a subscriber, be sure to hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss alerts on future videos from me. As far as I know, alerts are still not going to my subscribers or it seems to be sporadic. Some people get them, some people don't. So it's definitely worth hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. But yeah, I hope you are all doing well wherever you are and I will hopefully be seeing you guys again soon. Bye. This will be your new best friend.